everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, today we've got a what I eat in a day. I'm just going to be taking you through everything that I am going to be eating today and show you exactly how I make it. If you've watched my what I eat in a day videos before, you will know that I always pop the calorie and protein content in the bottom of the screen here for every meal and every snack that I have throughout the day. I just thought it was worth mentioning at the beginning of the video because I know not everyone likes to see that. Um, so yeah, just kind of be aware that that is going to be popping up on the screen throughout the video. At the moment, I am eating around maintenance calories. I'm not kind of actively trying to lose weight. I'm not actively trying to build muscle, just kind of trying to sit kind of happily where I am at the moment. So roughly around maintenance calories for me. And as always, all of the meals and snacks are relatively high protein. I do personally like to have quite a high protein diet. So hopefully if that's maybe like an area that you struggle with, you might be able to get some ideas of some higher protein meals and snacks. It's around 11 o'clock now. Yeah, it's around about 11. Um, all I've had so far today is some water. I think I've had like a litre and a half so far. A peppermint tea and a multivitamin. Got up kind of quite early today, went to the gym, did a workout and I've come home, freshened up a little bit and I am now ready to have my breakfast. So I'm going to head through to the kitchen and show you what I'm going to make. So for breakfast I am making a smoothie. This is like my signature smoothie. I have it all the time. It's probably been in a couple of my what eat in a day videos previously. Um, I do have it quite a lot but it is my favourite especially when it gets into the summer and the weather starts to get a bit nicer. It's just like the perfect thing to have. So this is what's all in it. We've got frozen banana, spinach, peanut butter, a couple of drops of the My Protein Butter Biscuit flavour drops almond milk, some ice and some chocolate brownie protein from my protein. Literally all you need to do is put everything into the blender and then blend it up and then that's it ready. <laughs> it's nice and thick and it's really really creamy as well Um, I always find that having smoothies that are a little bit thicker kind of like fill you up a little bit more and so I really like to put the frozen fruit and the ice and stuff in there just to like really thicken it up and yeah I absolutely love this smoothie like I said it is my favorite one I have it all the time it just tastes so nice I know that a lot of the time people think that putting spinach in a smoothie is a little bit gross but you cannot taste it at all. It literally just tastes like chocolate and peanut butter and banana. It is so so good. So as I mentioned earlier I've already been to the gym today and I filmed what I did so I'm just gonna kind of pop that clip in here. I thought it was just better to kind of show some food first since it is a what eat in a day video rather than going straight in with a workout first thing. Um, so yeah I'm gonna pop those clips in here but I have been mixing up my workouts a little bit kind of recently. Pretty much ever since I started going to the gym I've always stuck to more like weight based training where you choose like a one muscle group and do weighted exercises for that muscle group. So for example, like doing legs and doing like squats, hip thrust, leg press, lunges, stuff like that. And that's kind of what I've stuck to across the years. But a few months ago, me and Scott tried a Barry's Bootcamp class for the first time and we really, really enjoyed it. Even though it pretty much killed us off for the first time, we did really enjoy it and it was nice trying something a little bit different. It's a lot more kind of like cardio based. They do still have some weights and stuff in there, but it's a lot more intense than kind of what I was used to. And like I said, I really enjoyed it. So I thought that I should maybe start mixing up some of my own workouts as well. So I've kind of been doing more like circuit based stuff rather than just your standard weights. As you'll see in the clips, I have still been including some weighted exercises in there, but then pairing it with kind of more cardio based, high intensity exercises as like a little circuit. So this workout that's coming up, I've got three different circuits and each circuit has got three exercises and I do three rounds of each one. So yeah, I'll insert those clips now for anyone who's interested in seeing my workout.
I've decided to make some honey garlic chicken wraps. Really, really quick, simple to make. And I don't really need that many ingredients either. So in here, I have got my chicken. So it's just one chicken breast that I've cut up into little strips. The sauce, I've got 15 grams of honey, a little bit of paprika, some garlic, some salt, and a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna leave that for like five, 10 minutes just to kind of like soak it all up and marinate a little bit. I've got my wraps ready here. So these are kind of like mini wraps, kind of halfway between a wrap and a taco. I would say. So I'm going to have three of those and in that along with the chicken I'm just going to put some spinach, some garlic mayo and some halloumi I think. And I'm going to make some corn on the cobs to go along with it. Um, so yeah pretty much all I need to do is cook the chicken, cook the halloumi, cook the corn on the cob and then that's it. Done. <laughs> finished product we've got the two little corn on the cobs i just use frozen ones and cook them in the microwave they're so quick and easy and then we've got the three chicken wraps here so we've got the honey garlic chicken i cooked 25 grams of halloumi so i've just got like two little cubes in each one spinach garlic mayo and then i just added like a little bit of sweet corn on the top just because i thought they looked a little bit plain without it but this smells really good and i absolutely love this honey garlic chicken it tastes so so good so I'm looking forward to this. So it's a little bit later on now and I'm gonna have a little snack just to keep me going until tea time. So today I am having an apple and some clear whey. So I'm just gonna have one scoop of this. This is the cranberry and raspberry flavor, which in my opinion is the best one. It honestly, it just tastes like juice and it's got 20 grams of protein in it. So you cannot go wrong with this one. Although I have seen that my protein have brought back the Vimto one which was amazing so i'm definitely gonna have to get myself a tub of that but we'll stick with the cranberry and raspberry for now so i'm having one scoop of this along with an apple and that should just keep me going for the next few hours until i make my tea so for tea tonight i am gonna be making some sausage pasta and i am actually really excited for it um i saw this recipe on tiktok so it's the first time that i'm trying it but it looks really really good and yeah i just cannot wait to try it so all the stuff that's going to be going in it we've got some chicken sausages i use the heck ones going to be using some chorizo i think i'm going to use like 20 grams i think the recipe says some lightest philadelphia this is really really good to add to pasta sauces it makes them quite creamy and obviously because it's the lightest one there's hardly any calories in it so that's always a good addition to pasta some tomato puree some sun-dried tomatoes, some cheese, and some pasta. I'm using rigatoni, but I guess you can kind of use whatever, whatever you fancy. First thing you want to do is boil your pasta. I've got 75 grams of rigatoni boil in there. Then you're going to add your sausages along with 25 grams of diced chorizo into a frying pan. I've also added a little bit of onion salt and some garlic granules to flavour as well and then you're just going to fry that off until it's cooked. Then once that's ready you're going to add in 30 grams of sun dried tomatoes and a tablespoon of tomato puree and just mix that in. Then you're going to mix through your cooked pasta along with a little bit of your pasta water. Then finally you're going to add in 40 grams of lightest Philadelphia, 25 grams of grated cheese and some basil to flavour. Just mix it all together and then that is you good to go. And here we have the finished product. This smells so, so good. Like I mentioned, I've never actually tried this before. This is the first time trying this recipe since I've seen it on TikTok. So I'm gonna do a little taste test and we'll see what we think. So we'll try and get a bit with everything. A bit of sausage, a bit of chorizo, a bit of pasta. So we can get like a true representation of what it's like. Mmm. For like, a lowish calorie homemade pasta 
that is unbelievable oh my god you definitely need to try this it's got so much protein in it as well such a good meal anyways i am gonna sit and tuck into this and enjoy this now and i will catch up with you the next time i have something to eat I am finishing off the day with a chocolate squares bar. I say this in pretty much every what eat in a day video but I always need to finish off the day with something sweet. I don't feel satisfied unless like I've had a bit of chocolate to finish off the day. So this is what I am going for today. This is going to be the last thing I am going to eat today. So I'm going to end the video here. As always thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Wednesday with another video.